Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about a super cool feature of GA4, which is exploration based audiences. Now, I don't know if you are using explorations or not, but apart from being very useful for slicing and dicing your data, they offer this feature where you can turn anything that you find out about your visitors into an audience. Let me show you on an example. So here I'm going to create a free form, super simple audience. Let's say I want to see event names and then I want to see the event count. So I simply add this dimension and this metric to the table. And for any given time span, I have the count of all of these events. I see that there are about 20k of people who clicked on an internal link that was page view based. Uh, this event was created on the automatically tracked page view in GA4 and I explain how to create such an event in another video. But for now, we want to focus on this 21k of events being generated in our GA4 account. Now, if I right click on this number and say create segment from this selection, G4 offers me to build an audience from them. It's as easy as this to create an audience out of any number in any table in your explorations. Uh, even though this was a super basic example, it showed the concept how you can turn any number that you find interesting into an audience. Let's say user engagement. Okay, right click, create segment from selection. And what I didn't note the previous time even though this number in the table said 98,000, when I right click, it says less. So it says only 58,000 users because obviously there are users who uh, logged user engagement twice or multiple times. Now, as you can see, the number of sessions that were logging user engagement is higher, but this is the number showing how many active cookies are there on browsers out there that comply with this condition, somebody logging user engagement. Now, I'm not going to create this audience. Instead, I'm going to show you other exploration based audiences here. So for example, we have this, which resources to keep exploration. And it basically just lists all the resources pages that are available on DDU website. So let's say resources, Google Ads, budget calculator. Now, if I copy this just for fun and then add it to DDU domain name. Okay, here is Google Ads budget calculator that helps you calculate your Google Ads budget, obviously. But what I want to show you is if I go here and say, let's turn these people into an audience, it's easy as we just saw. Create segment from selection, turn it into audience. Now, yeah, it says only 222 uh, users, whereas we were seeing higher number here in the table. Yeah, 528. Now, let's check another exploration. For example, I said downloads by extension type. We have another video explaining how any of these particular downloads can be turned into a specific event to be logged. Uh, I think that I explained how to log a particular event whenever somebody downloads an Excel spreadsheet because that is mostly a paid resource, whereas PDFs are mostly free. Don't hold my word for this, but I think it works something like that in Data Driven New website. But let's say if we wanted to turn all the PDF downloaders into an audience, we could easily create segment from them. And let's say, just out of curiosity, I want to see, okay, just 222 users currently have an active cookie, even though in such a long time span, there were 6,000 PDFs being downloaded. This could be somewhat of a improper uh, integration, but I don't want to go deeper into this at this moment. Let's see other explorations offered here. So, okay, here's a funnel. It's a GA4 setup funnel. 
Let's see what it represents. First step is where a page path contains GA4 or Google Analytics 4, obviously. Then somebody shows interest by what logging click or scrolling. Then it should be indirectly followed by GA4 migration form seen and then form downloaded. Okay, makes sense. But let's say that we want to put people who abandoned any particular step into an audience simply as clicking in, at the number so we have g4 blog post the first step then interest is the second one but actually abandonments is also clickable here create segment from abandonments and let's see how it's structured so it's called g4 blog post interest excluding g4 blog post interest form scene and as you can see it says include this sequence but then exclude the additional steps here and if we build an audience from this save and publish is gonna appear in the audiences section in our admin panel i think i had another interesting example to show you oh yeah okay content grouping in ga4 that's also covered by another youtube video that we're gonna link to in the description of this one but as you can see we actually uh, tried to group all the blog posts that are available on data driven new website into particular topics and as you can see numbers are here pretty obvious okay number of users and conversions that happen on that page so let me scroll a little bit here and see if there is something that looks interesting understanding data streams in ga4 total users 2200 and then ga4 measurement id let's turn this into an audience create segment from selection and it includes all the people who actually visited page path containing GA4 and also where the page path exactly matches GA4 measurement ID right now 2.8k people if we build an audience and save it it will appear in our audiences section of admin panel and I'm going to show you how that looks for a DDU rollout property. Just beware that your audiences will not have any users, even though the prediction said, I don't know, 2.8K for this last one. Right now, there are less than 10 users because they populate from the moment that you created them and not from all the cookies that are actually active right now out there. I hope that this video helps you understand how to create audiences from explorations. I encourage you to uh, create all sorts of explorations and to try to any interesting number turn them into an audience and if you did like this video please click the like button and subscribe to our channel talk to you soon